Hi, everybody. Welcome to Brick House Bones episode 37. Here we go. I have four brand new exercises that are evidence based ways that we know help prevent falls and fractures, build strength and resilience in our bodies, and keep us doing the things we love. I'm Dr. Lisa, physical therapist and osteoporosis and cancer exercise specialist. So, thank you for joining me today. We'll be using a mat. Uh, I'm using a crisscross line, so you can use a piece of tape. A um, uh, two canes is how this was originally set up, but you essentially want a very low profile to the ground crisscross mark on the floor. You can even use two tiles on your floor to mark that space, but we just need an X that marks the spot. So we have a great core exercise today that is sneakily challenging, a uh, wonderful balance exercise, and it'll be a test, and it'll be a test where you can measure where you fall in success on whether or not you are at risk for falling or not. So this is great. I love when we have these self-assessment tools to do this. Now, this first exercise, we're covering posture, strength, balance, and we have an impact exercise with either a stepping jack or a jumping jack today. Um, you can follow along. You can watch this first and see if it's something you feel comfortable doing. Uh, always exercise at your own risk, being honorable to your body and your needs. And if you're not sure, watch the video, share it with your physical therapist or your physician and ask if they feel like it's okay for you to do it. All right, so we're starting on our stomachs in the prone or on our stomach position. It is absolutely okay to put a pillow under your hips if that helps you feel more comfortable. And we're going to be, I'll show you my back, we're going to be doing this W lift. So imagine I'm lying on the floor, my elbows are gonna be a little lower than my shoulders, my hands are gonna be touching the floor, and then I'm going to squeeze my arms back in this W position and then relax. So I'll be lifting them off the floor and then relaxing them but it's a different standing than it is lying down. I'm working against gravity. So that's what makes this so much more effective is the position that we're in. So coming onto your tummy, lowering all the way down, tuck the chin so we're being nice to our neck. This also strengthens the muscles in our neck. We need that. Okay, so we're gonna press the pubic bone into the mat here and then Hands here are in that W position I showed you. And we're gonna squeeze and lift them off. Hold, three, two, one, relax. Going for 10 repetitions. Hold, three, two, one, relax. If you need to stop at four or five, that is okay. Hold, three, two, one, relax. If your neck gets tired, you may absolutely roll up a towel relax put it under your forehead and rest your head on the towel just like this while you're doing your arm lifts you may relax and rest your head and there's five six good job you guys lift seven Squeeze, can you feel that working in the upper back? These are these postural muscles that help protect your thoracic spine. Excellent. Last one. Super, coming up to hands and knees. We're gonna go out of order just a little bit today, just so we're not getting on and off the mat all the time. So we're going into our strength exercise next, which I call a hover plank. And we start this plank in the hands and knees position. You may be hands and fists or palms, whichever works well for you. And as usual in this hands and knees position, we want the shoulders right on top of the wrists and the hips right on top of the knees. So a lot of times I see people lean back and their hips are behind their knees we want to come forward so the hips are on top of the knees. And for this one, we're going to tuck the toes, tuck the chin so we have a long neck, belly button squeezes in, kind of supporting the spine, and all you need to do is lift your knees maybe one or two inches, not very high, and then lower back down. Now, this can be very challenging for some and easy for others. So I'm going to do a 10-second hold. 
But if two seconds is enough for you, that's okay. That's where you start. You start with two seconds. And as you practice this, those, that time will get longer. This is really great strength for being so confident getting on and off the floor, for being able to hold that position very, very well. Very, very good strength for the bones in our arms and upper body. Okay, remember not to round out like this. Really sink that hard in, have that flat back position. So if you can, let's try to go for 10 seconds. So knees cup, and then this is cheating. This is what we're going for. So if you raise those knees too high, that's a shortcut. All right, here we go. Set that position, long neck, chin tuck, belly button squeezing in. Lift those knees just two inches and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. So that's your core strength exercise. If 10 seconds was easy, See how long you can hold it. If it was hard, begin to work to slowly increase that. Maybe do three rounds of 10 seconds today and add that routine in twice this week. Very good, there's your core exercise. Now on your W's, we did 10 W's, that's our posture exercise. And you could do that three times this week as well if you're just working on this BHB program this week. So three, days of 10 repetitions on the w's all right now this is our balance test this is called a four square step test and this is an objective test that we do a lot of times in the clinic to tell me how much is a person at risk for falling and this is a timed test so if you want to know where you stand on your fall risk then you will start your timer or have somebody time you while you do this so we have our crisscross pattern here. And the step, the test is to start in one corner, step forward, sideways, backwards to the original position and then reverse it. Sideways, forwards, across and back. And the goal is that you don't have to turn around, that you can move sideways and backwards and forwards in all of those directions. So the timer starts when you step into the first box Come all the way around, all the way back, and stops when you finish back at your starting point. Are you ready? Get your timers ready on your phone or have somebody do this for you. Make sure that you're safe. You don't want to move so fast that you can't control your balance. So always choose safety over speed. This gives you an assessment of where you're starting. Are you ready? Set. Go. Backwards, sideways, sideways, forwards, sideways, backwards. Stop when you get back there. Great. Anything more than 15 seconds is considered at risk for falling. So that means it's more difficult with the dynamic balance for you to move in different directions. It's just a guideline. And for many of you, that was probably very easy. But it's always a good way to check, boy, do I move as confidently sideways and backwards as I do forward? Because you should. You should. So it's a great thing to practice. If you saw that one of those was weaker, it gives you an area of where you need to spend more time practicing. All right, our last exercise, exercise number four, is our impact or power exercise today. And it's either a stepping jack, notice I do a little stomp to go with that, or a jumping jack. So if you're doing stepping jacks, do five per side. If you're doing jumping jacks, do 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. So if we're doing that impact and you're safe doing impact and you're confident doing impact, your joints and your bones, then that impact 10 to 20 jacks could be spread out throughout the day. So for a total of anywhere from uh, 60 to 100 jacks would be a great impact exercise to do maybe twice this week, even three times. You could do 60 to 100 jacks. If you're doing the stepping version, then do somewhere between 30 and 50 jacks in a day, but spread it out. We have more advantage to spreading out those impact activities than trying to do them all at once. So if you did 10 just now, do 10 a few hours from now. Fill in a couple more this afternoon, and then you'll have 40 
jacks of impact in for your day, helping your bones to say they want to grow stronger. Hey, if you found this helpful, leave me a message down below. If you'd like me to keep creating videos like that, I really appreciate your feedback and I love your comments and I read every single one. If you're not already subscribed, I would be very honored if you did subscribe to my channel. And I love, love, love when you share this information, this free content with others. I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible feel confident and grow stronger as we get older and prevent fractures. Thank you.